Hello and welcome to Bay One. This is Trafal Moraxi. Um Yeah, haven't really streamed much for a few days. Been really busy. Uh, but let's get into Robocraft here. Got some patch stuff that we need to catch up on. And let me make sure I've got all of the stuff up and running that we need to do. So yeah, um, DOTM or Dawn of the Megabots Hop Fix 5 has been released, which introduces the Mega Launcher, which is a, a TX1 uh, plasma cannon, more or less. Uh, it fires two shots, uh, each of which does about 10,000 damage, totaling 20,000 damage. The shots are spread. Um, apart over the course of a second uh, so I think it, it's the timing officially is 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 seconds um, but yeah we're gonna take a look at that so far I haven't actually unlocked it myself and let's see if I've even got enough RP to buy one that would be the big question uh, I've only got 600k RP so I may not even be able to buy one but let's go and go to the tech tree so you'll see on the tech tree it's down the end of the plasma launcher tree 815 uh, TP which um, that's using tier 10 so you can buy these using tier 10 uh, tech don't need to use any uber on this so let's unlock that and then let's go to the depot and see just how much these things cost. Uh, I fully expect them to be on par. Yep, 900,000. So what I'm probably going to have to do just to be able to afford one is to sell a Mega SMG. There we go. And buy one of these now. And we can then take a look at that in a bay. Uh, which bay shall we use? Oh, this is a prototype design I'm working on. And do I have a spare bay that I can put this in? Ah, this will do for now. So at least we can take a look at the weapon in all of its glory and the fixed in mounting points and all that kind of stuff so I'm expecting it to have the same restrictions as a normal plasma uh, we've got to take these off as well so you can mount it on top, can't mount it on the side I think that's just not going to be possible and you can mount it on underneath as well uh, of course on this we're going to mount it on top making my uh, little T1 sled automatically a T10 and let's go into practice mode what cubes are not connected to the pilot seat? that's a load of bullshit oh wait a minute, how did that get disconnected? Huh, interesting okay, I guess cubes were not connected to the pilot seat anyway, um where'd it go? getting used to the placement of these things on the menu so let's go into practice and take a look so at least this is agile enough to actually power this, let's see what happens when I fire, I'll probably go flying backwards ah, nope, not too bad I do like the way it fires though. Tracking is acceptable. Yeah, so it seems to be on par with normal plasmas in terms of tracking. This is a really cumbersome design. So let's try this. Ah, so it does follow your aim. That's neat. At least it's not stuck going the original trajectory. 
And it does seem the a single volley isn't enough to really kill this thing. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, let's see if we can take a slightly closer look in. Yeah, it's got the two barrels there. It's got some kind of ignitery type thing in the middle. Uh, but yeah, it's not a bad model. Um, other big notes for this uh, particular patch are the um, plasma damage has been reduced at all tiers uh, by 10%. Uh, 10%, 10%. Um, platoon system has been recoded, which we'll see. You're probably not going to see any front end changes on that, but apparently it's a lot more reliable now. Um, fix the bug where T3 SMGs does not display the correct level of detail. I never noticed that problem myself. Fixed an issue with T9 and T10 track collision. I think there were just some inconsistencies with how the tracks actually. Uh, um, how you were able to build around the tracks. Uh, electro plates were not using the correct mass. Well, that would be an important one. Let's probably change the dynamics of my um, my other electro plate bot. Which one is that? The one in bay four. This one. So we'll give uh, bay fourteen, not four. So we'll give that a run. Uh, fixed an issue which caused your robot to randomly get nudged when placing cubes. Didn't really experience that one. Uh, fixed T10 plasma can and robot ranking. It was lower than it should have been. Um, I think that's a hot fix for the hot picks actually on that one. Um, but yeah, so biggest one is going to be the introduction of the plasmas. Um, Naturally, I'm going to have to try those out on my designs and see how well they work. You're going to see a lot of different Megabot designs coming about because of that. Um, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see Mega Plasma versus uh, standard Megabot. Uh, but maybe we'll, we'll encounter the one on the first game here. We don't know. Yeah, how do you even tell? Good question. Uh, and if anyone is actually chatting, I can't see chat at the moment because I haven't got that uh, coming up on my screen, so... And we'll see how this design actually does against Plasma now. Dude, in my way. Yeah, let's see. Enemy Megabot is up there. We're not going that way. We're seeing if we can speed around and get behind. Ah. The enemy megabot is still down there. Make them chase. Although we've lost a good part of our team already. Maybe not good.
go. Not a shining example of gameplay there, but... Um, yeah, Nuffle 2. I can see the chat now, but not correctly. Um, so I need to get my settings sorted out, and I will be ending this part of the stream here. So this is just a quick overview of the patch and all that kind of stuff. And I will be back in a few minutes with the proper stream. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Goodbye.